bit of a disclaimer. I'm not saying I'm the brightest person ever or that people should be intimidated by me. Um, my main point from the article was just to sort of say, as a 22-year-old, we live in a society that is really focused on social media these days. And people are so concerned with how many Instagram followers they have, how they look, how they're presented. I find a lot of the time conversations in dating, it tends to be very superficial and people are more concerned about how many Facebook friends they have mm. as opposed to having like an intellectual discussion. So what dating disasters have you had then up until now? Well, I did have one who didn't know who Jeremy Corbyn was. Um, right. So that was pretty extreme. And I've also been on a date with a guy who thought women should still be quite domesticated and that they should still stay at home, look after the kids. So I have had a few bad experiences. Where yeah. are you finding these guys? <laughs> yeah, probably not the best places. I have tried social media dates and then also meeting people in bars, but I try and stay clear now of apps like Tinder and Bumble. Do you think it's, a, do you think it's an age thing, maybe? Do you think it's because you are just 22 that maybe, maybe, maybe you need an older man in your life? Yeah, I think potentially I struggle to find people my own age. Maybe it's like a lack of maturity. And again, with these sort of social media dating apps, it's so much more focused on how you're presented, how you look, as opposed to sort of your intellect or what your interests are. Mm. So okay. where are you on the dating scene now? Currently, I think I'm taking a bit of a breather. I think that's the best thing for the meantime. Um, but I'm open-minded if I meet the right person. Who's your right? ideal guy? My ideal guy. Einstein? Oh. <laughs> no, I quite like people who are creative. So someone who was like maybe an artist or a director or something like that. I really like a guy called Mark Romenik and he's a famous director. So that would be my ideal type. Ideal man. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got Andreas. So you're a musician and admin work. You've got yeah. two degrees, one for English yes. and German, one yeah. in social policy. That's right, yeah. Um, now, you're a little bit older, aren't you? I am. Uh, so I'm 41. So 41. Yes. So maybe this age thing... The experience it... that I have is quite different from Natasha's okay. um, in some ways, but I think because I'm a bit older, so I'm not in the social media sort of instagram -y kind of thing. Um, my experience is very different. And, and what um, is your experience? Well, I, I tend to meet men more not online, but in, say, a... a, 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 a a bar or a pub or somewhere out and about rather than online. I have tried online dating, um, but I've, I have also had some dating disasters what as well. <laughs> what sort of guys? Uh, well, um, I tend to find, in my experience, that um, there seem to be two different types of men that, that I've met. Um, they tend to be either quite geeky into computer games, video games, gaming, war World of Warcraft and things like that, which is yeah. not my kind of thing at all, um, or on the on the opposite side, they, they tend to be very laddish, drinking a lot. Um, I can't really have a sensible conversation with those kinds of guys, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So, so yeah. but then, I mean, is it a case, I mean, there must be sort of a middle ground here, or yes. is it a case of, dare I say, it, lowering your standards slightly? Or so, is that... Sometimes I feel that I have to downplay my achievements when I meet a man. I have to yeah. kind of not express um, how how much I've achieved, because I think it's a little bit intimidating to some people. However, like you say, there is a middle ground, and I think it's true that there are men out there who are looking for intelligent, well-educated women. There's a lot of interesting men out there, but in my experience, unfortunately, it's, it's not worked out like that. Them. <laughs> is, it, is it a case of, for, for, for both of you, I mean, relationships are, you know, you don't have to be They're exactly the same. They, they are hard, hard work. work. You work on these the sort of things. of the person that you're with, um, but I think it's really important um, for everybody to be able to communicate well in a relationship. And if um, the person that you're with is not really able to talk about the things that, that you find interesting, then mm. I think that would be a real problem. So the guy that didn't know Jeremy Corbyn, mm. was he interested to learn who he may be? Um, I think he wanted to sort of play it off a bit. That I think he was a bit embarrassed, to be honest, that he didn't quite know who he was, which was understandable. Um, but a point from my perspective as well is now women are becoming increasingly educated and they're more focused on their careers. I think women are a lot more independent and they're self-reliant. And I think maybe in that way they are slightly more fussy because they realise they are quite happy on their own. They're quite happy focusing on their own careers. They don't feel as much of an urge to find Mr. Right. However, at a certain point you do want to meet, you definitely do want yes, to be I with think, somebody. Yes, I would like to settle down and meet the right person. I've not gone down the uh, very um, predictable path of, well, the popular way of women getting, having children, but having a family. I've not done that. It's, I've been a bit different from, 
from most other women that yeah. I've known. So um, not having had children uh, in, now in my 40s, I wonder whether that will ever happen. Mm. Right. You see, I have to think about the future and I have to think, am I too old? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I would like to settle down with, with the right kind of person, somebody who um, has a, a similar sense of humour mm. to me, someone who's interested in uh, psychology, art, literature, yeah. all these things that I'm interested oh, in. And it is hard. <laughs> I really do. I really do. Both of you, in fact. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, both. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much.